So here we are in the actual live Fiori apps library. And as we discussed in the previous module, a couple of things you can take note of. At the top right, I've authenticated already to the site. So um, I will have access to some additional capabilities such as managing profiles and filters, which we'll cover in a, a next module. Um, if I have run previous uh, app recommendations, I will have a category to be able to review those. That would not be here if I was uh, anonymous on the site. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. In the, in the top page here, which you can always get to from this home button on any page, you have the ability to jump in and watch a quick video, uh, uh, just a quick overview video about the library. You can take a look at these additional lighthouse scenarios for quick time to value uh, Fiori scenarios. You can even get down and look at the uh, external website and even get a, a link to a Fiori action in a uh, free trial uh, to test it out and play with it. Now on the top left here are our high level, what we call categories. Now categories are really just predefined top level filters uh, that are very convenient and commonly used to drill into categories. Now the apps library not only contains information on Fiori apps, but also um, non-Fiori technologies such as SAP UI 5, SAP GUI, Web Dim Pro, and even Design Studio. The all apps category is going to show you everything available in the library. So you can see that we have, in, as a time of this recording, just under 11,000 different apps. And again, this is not just Fiori apps. These are any UI technology that are available in the library. So sometimes this can be useful to get the count or if you really need wide open searching, but frequently you'll go into a little bit more of a filtered uh, start point. And that's what these additional categories are for. The first one lets you look at any UA technology application, but, but for S for HANA, that would be our first filter. The next two are probably the most commonly used as starting points. And though that is show me Fiori apps for S for HANA, but a lot of customers, if they're still back on business suite, they wanna know if Fiori apps are available and they can begin to use those and deploy those for users even as they're on their S4 journey. And, and do that with Business Suite. And this category is a great way to get a list of those Fiori apps on a Business Suite. Now this next one called Available for SAP Fiori Cloud. Uh, to explain that one, SAP Fiori can be deployed in two primary ways. Traditionally, it can be deployed on premises where you take and download the Fiori application content, you deploy it to an on-premises application server such as an SAP NetWeaver, but you're responsible really for the management, the deployment, the transporting, um, all of that type of governance work that goes with that. We also have available now the ability to deploy SAP Fiori on SAP Cloud Platform, our enterprise platform as a service offering. That offering is referred to as SAP Fiori Cloud, and these are apps that are pre-configured and optimized to run an SAP Cloud Platform in a decoupled fashion with predefined integration to a backend S4 or business suite system. But this filter lets you quickly determine which of the Fiori apps are available to run on Fiori Cloud for rap more rapid time to value. So in this case, let's go ahead, a very common way to peruse the library for customers is what's available on S for HANA from a Fiori perspective. Drilling into that category, we'll show you a couple things. At the very top here, you will always, again, when you have a list of applications or even additional filter categories like this on the left side, your current filter selections will always be shown at the top. In this case, we have selected Fiori apps by S for HANA. So we can see our product suites S for HANA. In this case, this UI Technology 13 is referring to that we have selected 13 options against the UI Technology category. Now, we're gonna go into filters and groupings in the next module, but those 13 is representing Fiori options only. So it's kind of pre-selected those for you. And again, we'll look at that next. Now, the apps library can be browsed by any role or user and these categories will be used in different ways by different users. If you, for example, are a line of business user, like in finance, you might want to know what's available in your line of business. Drilling into this category will let you quickly determine, ah, for finance, I have 625 different apps. And if I drill down one more level, I can now see the full list of apps. And again, looking at the top here, we have line of business filter on top of our previous, and that's selecting, uh, selected for finance. Uh, you could, for example, browse other line of businesses, but you may also want to go into this from the perspective of your industry, maybe your role, which is your, maybe you're a procurement manager, 
And if you're more technically inclined, you might want to look at the apps list by, by technical uh, uh, items such as the application component or the back end product. For now, let's just look at the all apps function. And again, we're going to look at everything available uh, for uh, S4HANA that has a, a SAP Fiori selection. Now in here, we now see an actual list of filtered uh, applications based on that filter. A couple things here. These gray boxes are groupings. This one is a little bit technical. We're going to go into the next module and look at how to change this grouping to be something that maybe is more relevant to you. Uh, but for now, we can just see that we have some level of grouping going on here. The next item is these stars. These stars indicate that there's uh, an app is new and or enhanced in a particular product release. Blue indicates that it's new in some product product suite and uh, gray blue also indicates that it's been enhanced in some release, whereas gray is just indicating that there's been an enhancement in a particular product release. The boxes, we can multi-select applications and do some multi-select functions. We'll cover that in a, in a later section here, but for now note that you can do that. Now, there are two high level ways that you can browse the library. This is what's called the detail view. You'll see down here at the bottom, it's selected. The detail view will always show a list of filtered applications on the left. And as you select those applications, the right hand side will show a detail page for that application. So this will always have this list filtered list available and be able to see the detail list on the right. The other option is to use what's called the list view. List view is a little bit different in that it will show a little bit more detail for each application in the list but you won't have a details page to look at unless you actually select the application such as I did here. You'll see the same page at the end for the detail page. You'll just have to navigate to it. So it's just a little bit different if you have a different preference for, for doing that. One thing that is handy, a couple things handy from the list view. Number one is you can direct select filters right from a drop down on the very top here. As I mentioned before, we have all of these uh, Fiori selections already made. Whereas in the detail view, you have to select the filter icon and do it in a pop up window. The other thing you can do here is download this list into an Excel file using the button on the bottom, bottom right. Great for offline, additional filtering, um, things of that nature if you want to share it with some colleagues. So let's just return back to this. I'm going to go ahead and select the manage workflows and over here on the, on the right hand side, let's take a look at some application details. Here we have that we typically outline, you know, the, who is this typically for this particular application? This is a role that it might call out. What product suites or product releases is it available in? Here you can see that it's available for S4 HANA on premises or S4 HANA in the cloud version. It tells the type of application. Fiori has a couple of different application types, such as fact sheet and transactional. I'll give that quick call out. One item customers often ask about applications for Fiori is does it require HANA or not? So it'll tell you right here at the top. And here you can see the form factors that are supported. In this case, uh, it's got tablet and desktop. Some applications will also support a mobile phone. Uh, it just depends on the application and the complexity of the application about which form factors it will support. Down below here, the product features, you can typically get uh, an overview. There might be screenshots on some. This one doesn't have them, but you can also get a link to the, the official documentation on the SAP help page, as well as other apps that are relevant in, in the role that we're showing here. In this case, business process specialist. This is handy as a, as a user when you're browsing to see what other apps Fiori has that are related to this uh, for that, that type of a role. Now, on the more technical side here on the implementation tab, you can now begin to drill in and see information specific to implementation uh, based on a specific release. So depending on where you're at on your release cycle, you could select the appropriate uh, drop down here. Um, you can even get a link to the SAP tech guide. But what's great down here is lots and lots of details about what notes are applicable. Where, what notes do you need to have applied in order to make this application work in your system? And you can get direct links to that. From an installation perspective, what's required on the front end? What's required on the, on the back end, on your ABOP stack to be able to do that? This is great information for, for the IT department to make a determination if, if this is going to be installable or if I'm gonna have to modify my, uh, my implementation to do that. 
Now, configuration is really talking more about the way that you can tweak and configure the application once it's implemented. And you can get some specific information about what, what you know, the SAP UI 5 app, there might be OData services that need to be activated and made available for this app to work correctly. Uh, anything about the launch pad and even technical configuration and, and target mappings to make the integrations work in that case. Continuing um, extensibility, this would be more applicable to a developer. A developer um, can, Fiori is built to be extended very uh, easily. We're gonna uh, cover that in another development type of a module, but the extensibility pane will tell you about how this app can be extended in a safely safe way that protects it for upgrades and make sure it doesn't break. And of course, any type of support information and as we saw before, related app information. So this provides a high level uh, overview of navigating the Fiori app library. And in the next module, we're gonna get down a little more detailed with the filters and the groups.